and hello my beautiful moon children it's tori the whole dealer of guided intuition and i'm here to interpretate this full moon in capricorn and all of its glory and all of its bliss <laughs> so um i wanted to do something a little different because i get asked time and time you know um what kind of rituals what kind of things that i like to do with a full moon new moon so i said why not um invite my beautiful love muffins into my my sacred little me time with the divine my ancestors my spirit guides why not invite you guys into that and give you a preview of what i do while i go over what i got during meditation from the divine as far as this full moon in Capricorn. So we know that the things that happen, um, like um, I want is people say three days, but I like to say in the upcoming week before a full moon or new moon and the week after the full moon or new moon is very significant and, um, pay attention to what's happening and what's going on because what I've come to realize and learn in life, nothing just happens. So um, what spirit showed me during meditation is that this moon is going to be significant, highly significant and a major turning point um, in your life. And for everyone that can look different, but what I'm picking up collectively, it's a major turning point because in some form or some way something is happening in your life that is making you turn within and to truly trust yourself ultimately it is directing you to follow your true north and we can talk about your true north through astrology um so many ways but what I want to, how I want to talk about the true north is how my ancestors gave it to me um, when I was meditating. And the true north is your authentic path. Um, it's the path that liberates you. Um, it's the path that aligns with your authentic truth, what is best for you. So... If you have ever watched um, a slavery movie, the Northern Star is what my ancestors and yours um, use to find their way to freedom. They use the light of this star to find their way to freedom. They didn't have a map. They didn't have, um, they, they couldn't read. Um, they had nothing tangible to follow but this northern star and the thing about the northern star or any star it only comes out at night so when my ancestors showed me that settings let's think about nighttime first of all <laughs> you can't really see um i truly believe it's some of our darkest moments that we will experience in life that will propel us forward to align with our destiny to align with our truth it's some of our darkest moments that give us clarity about what's next for us in life and exactly where we're going um and some examples that i can give of that is like you know you know that re shitty relationship that you were in that taught you yeah this is not what i want and it put you on a path to a relationship that's more healthy and more fulfilling to you you know that dead-end job that was working you and working you and suddenly you got laid off and then you had to tap into your purpose and create your own revenue you know or um being pushed out of your comfort zone and then you know realizing hey this is what you needed all the time but sometimes without those dark moments you can't really define or you don't really know what's your truth or what feels good to you so i feel like in some form in some way in life we have all experienced that we have all went through moments like that 
okay especially in 2020 especially at some point in your life you know so the picture that my ancestors painted for me was when they were running towards their freedom they had no roadmap there was this inner knowing that told them to follow this star that this star would lead them to their freedom that's all intuition and certain things that happen to us will have us go within to get clarity, to get clear about what's next for us, about where we're going. And I really feel like in some form in your life, everyone has been subject to that. And this is what's leading up to this to this moment right here where you have made a decision to take a leap of faith, to follow your true north, to follow your northern star. And... um the Northern Star was a way for our ancestors to connect and to find their freedom. It guided them through difficult situations in the middle of the night. Do you know how much fear, do you know how much anxiety, you know, was around them? But in spite of, they made that decision to keep going forward because they had a vision in front of them. So this Capricorn in full moon is asking you to ask yourself, what is your true north? What is that thing that is propelling you forward? Because our ancestors were running for their life. But they made that decision that I have to follow my truth. I have to liberate myself. I have to seek my freedom. So this full moon in Capricorn is asking you, what is that freedom to you? You probably already know. And now the divine is saying, are you going to trust it? Without a shadow of a doubt, even though you don't have a physical roadmap, even though you don't know exactly what's next, but there is this inner knowing inside of you that is asking you to trust. So if you are watching this video, you're making a decision to, to follow your true north. All right. And now we're going to break down, you know, what spirit wants you to know about this decision that you've made. You know, this could be in a form of a career. This could be a form of your personal development. This could be a form to honor, you know, um, your destiny, you know, to honor your fam your um your family and do what's best for your family, do what's best for yourself. I know a lot of us are moving internally and externally, taking that leap of faith, doing something different, switching it up, okay? So I'm excited. Let's go ahead and jump into <laughs> this reading, but I hope you enjoyed this little sacred moment that I do with my ancestors and here we go. And hello, my moon children. Welcome to your full moon in Capricorn breakdown. <laughs> okay, so before anyone says anything like, okay, Tori, what are we doing right here with these roses, these dead roses? So with this whole um, following your true north, one of the things that I realized about myself you know, I, I kind of already knew this, but like, um, I'm really more accepting to it with these roses right here. Believe it or not, guys, these roses are three weeks old. And as you can see, they're still soft because I use rose quartz, little rose quartz crystals, um, in my rose waters, but one of the things is I value nature, I value our planet, I value our, our plants, but I understand the cycle of life. And um, one of the ways that I give back to nature is I do not discard my flowers. Um, the leaves, the, the petals, I allow them to get dry. I'll use them in my bath. I'll just decorate them on my altar. I'll just put them around um, my house, my, where I'm at, um, I'll slip some, you know, in my, my slippers. I don't know. I'll just stash like roses, just stash flowers or any kind of flowers around my, um, my house just to, to, 
to reverence the beauty and to reverence, you know, the roses because plants are alive. Everything is alive, you know, um, and though I'm a vegetarian, that's why I don't get on people that eat meat because plants are alive. Plants feel you guys know I talk to trees. I hug trees. So n- needless to say, this is my way of honoring them. You know, no, I'm not going to discard you because you are, quote unquote, what the world says. There's no beauty left in you. No, I'm going to find beauty in every part of you. And I've, I've really been honoring that side of myself because that's just who I am. And, you know, most people might say that's a little sensitive, which it is. However, it's me. And that's something that, you know, with this full moon in Capricorn that I want all of you guys to really do to honor yourself, to honor your truth. No matter if it looks crazy to the world, I want you to honor that part of you. And if we can be quite honest, tell me, is this little setup not beautiful? Okay. So one man's um, trash is another man's treasure. So you better believe that and know that about yourself, know that about your abilities. Okay. Because we are entering into a season in your life where you are being asked to follow your bliss, no matter what it looks like to anybody else, truly embody that. Okay. My loves, literally as I was shuffling, I was like, I cannot make this stuff up guys. Literally what came out was navigating by the stars. Follow your bliss, okay? And this card is all about trusting that inner knowing, okay? All about going within, aligning with your truth. Sometimes, you know, we allow outside circumstances or, you know, what we see in this 3D world to determine, you know, what path we go when in reality you have all the answers you know everything even when you feel like you don't you know what has to be done okay and um some of the other cards that fell out I'm going to take them, but um, (laughs) we got next was far away places. Get ready for new horizons. So what this Capricorn full moon is helping you do is close out cycles, close out things that, you know, really aren't in, are not in alignment with the direction that you're going. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes things are for a season, but we will make them, you know, longer than a season. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I know I'm good at that. I know about anybody else. But, you know, sometimes, you know, we, we can drag things out. And I feel like, you know, you're being circumstances in your life are showing up and asking you, are you going to be bold? Are you going to be daring? Are you going to listen to that inner knowing? Are you going to follow your true north? So basically, it's go time you know, and, and how spirit is showing me that is going back to, you know, our ancestors and back, you know, back in slavery time when, you know, they were, they didn't have, um, a lot of time to, sit and just ponder and ponder it, you know, if they were going to, you know, take this chance, take this leap of faith, you know, because usually, um, and I don't know if you ever watched some of these movies that most people, when you ponder, when you think, when you think you'll talk yourself out of it. So what spirit is saying, this full moon, um, in Capricorn is going to help you get clear. It's going to help you make a sound decision. And a lot of you are making a decision to go away and, and start a new beginning. You know, this could be something in the physical or just a new mindset that's going to open up doors for you. This is what you're doing. This is this is what's happening. Or maybe you've already made that decision to follow your true north. So spirit just wants you to know, even though because in this card is about not knowing exactly how everything is going to fold, fold out. You know, it's not having, you know, the whole puzzle isn't put together. You're literally putting the puzzle pieces together as you move, as you take a step, because sometimes we feel like. You know, um, we have to run or we have to make, you know, 10 leaps at one time. But sometimes it's those baby steps that add up to big ones. As long as you are just making those baby steps and honoring your intuition and honoring what's best for you and your life, that's all you got to do. Okay. So, you know, spirit just, you know, wants you to know that, 
You're getting ready for new horizons, new beginnings. Because next, it had taking shelter. The answers are within. So this full moon in Capricorn is asking you to go within. And it's so funny because um, Cancer is... um, While the moon is in Capricorn, Cancer is in the sun. And we know that Cancer is all about... I love you cancers, but we all know the damn truth. Y'all are emotional. (laughs) I love a cancer though. You know, y'all just very in touch and very in tune, boo. But y'all are some emotional beings, you know, so emotional. So um, with this cancer, with cancer being in sun, it's going to help all of us really tap in into our emotions. Um, And through your emotions, you're going to gain clarity. All right. Or even organizing your emotions, seeing how you feel about certain things. And this is all about going within, because guess what? That's how you, um, you know, gain that clarity. And honestly, just what I heard, you know, take this time to meditate. Meditating would be good. You know, Um, even if you don't do it on a daily basis, you guys might hear Kate and he just like bumped in here. (laughs) Hi. Hi, handsome. So whatever decisions that you make during this time it's leading you to your true abundance infinite abundance abundance is pouring into your life i don't know you know i don't know i just want to share this but i was talking with this beautiful soul and you know sometimes we think that happiness is um a physical place or like when we get the job or when we and we get something like we'll um be um happy However, you create your happiness. Happiness is a state, okay? And I feel like the more that you listen to yourself, the more that you are creating happiness in your life, the more that you honor yourself, the more that you do what is true to you, this is going to create happiness for you. It's not about a physical place Or, you know, um, a tangible thing. But when you make a decision to honor you, don't you feel good? Don't you feel happy? Even if it's hard, like you were like, damn, that was hard. But you know what? Whew, feel so much better. You know, I feel so good. You create your happiness by honoring um, yourself. That's one of the ways that you can create happiness in your life is by honoring yourself, honoring your truth, doing what feels good to you, like saving these flowers and finding different ways, you know, to, um, to, to, to use them, you know, and stash them in a vase. I don't know, but this is my journey from here on out is just really um, being okay with that and not hiding it, that <laughs> I save the petals and the leaves from the flowers and like, you know, I kiss them, like, come on, and I hug and kiss trees, like, Just really being okay with that um, about myself. So, ultimately, this is what's going place. This is what's taking place right now. And I'm going to be using this tarot deck. By the way, I love it. Oh, my God. Like, I've been asleep on this deck. I've been asleep on this deck right here. I don't, I'm probably going to butcher the name, but the Santa... The Santa something um, <laughs> tarot deck. You know, the skeleton ones, the um, the book of the dead. Like, I love this. Like, I love this tarot deck. And the meanings of each of these cards are very different from the traditional traditional tarot. So I, I love it. And I've been really playing with it. On the bottom of this deck, we have the Ace of Cups. You know, ultimate fulfillment right here. And the dragonfly really quick I don't know why this dragonfly is standing out to me but that's going to mean something to somebody maybe you need to see what that means um spiritually dragonflies but ooh, a transformation and the thing about um a dragonfly it can live on it it's is the eggs are hatched in one of on the lily pad, you know, those lily pad flowers and it can stay an egg up to two to three years before it actually hatches. 
So I feel like somebody is is hatching, baby. You you a dragonfly. You are emerging, <laughs> which is beautiful. But the thing about the Ace of Cups, it is about ultimate fulfillment. However, it's the choices and the decisions that you make that lead you to this fulfillment. It's the action steps that you take. It's the it's the inner the inner clarity that you bring to yourself, the inner decisions that you make that ultimately brings you to the Ace of Cups, that brings you to fulfillment, okay? So I just want to see on an energetic level what does spirit want the beautiful soul to know about this full moon in Capricorn? What's going up? What's going down? What's going around? <laughs> spirit, when it comes to this full moon in Capricorn, what do they need to know right now in this very moment that's going to help guide them to their truth? Look at that. Bottom of the deck. Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles has been haunting us. You haven't seen a video, but um, it's currently I'm currently editing and going to be um, posting to the channel. But it's about honoring your heart. <laughs> and the Three of Pentacles came out. So the Three of Pentacles. And as you can see from this deck, you know, this is a very nurturing card nurturing yourself nurturing your decisions even getting comfortable in your skin getting comfortable in following your truth every step that you that you take it matters okay so these cards flew out which we have the chariot then we have the five of pentacles and the moon And I like how the moon is like that duality. Because you see like she has skin right here. She has skin on her. But when she looks into the, the water, you see the, the bones, the skeleton side of her. You know? So that just represents duality to me. I love this deck right here. So first off the bat, I told you it's very significant this full moon and Capricorn because you have two major arcanas right here. We got the chariot and then we have the moon and then the five of pentacles right here. Now, I love how this deck talks about the um the five of pentacles because it says the five of pentacles is an active dynamic card that announces step by step the positive evolution towards the future and the discovery of new interests or new solutions so again you know, the five of pentacles in the traditional tarot deck deals with rejections, deals with losses, but it's in those losses that you find your true gains. Okay, like you wouldn't know what it feels like to win if you didn't lose. <laughs> you wouldn't know what it what you know how, how to be thankful for food if you didn't if you were never hungry. Like you get what I'm saying? So every nothing is at loss. Everything is an opportunity propelling you to your truth. It's steps that you're taking. So the advice um, for this card, it says with calm and through concentration, an objective evolution, you can go ahead overcoming any crisis that meets you along the way. You know, because with the chariot and the moon, you know, the moon to me is all about intuition. It's all about trusting the unknown. And in this deck is about listening to your intuition but also being mindful of your surroundings you see how her hands are open they're spread so I feel like you know whatever didn't go right whatever didn't work right learn from that take those lessons and allow them to propel you forward you ever heard that saying like what you know when you've been to the lowest of lowest in life like it's only up from here. What's the worst that can happen if you've already experienced the worst? And sometimes we will allow fear and, the, you know, the fear of the unknown to cripple us. When in reality, 
Don't allow fear to talk you out of your dreams. Don't allow fear to talk you out of your truth. You know, when you're like having a conversation um, or like you're avoiding doing something and you keep avoiding it, keep avoiding it because you're afraid of an outcome or how it's going to happen. And it work. It happens. Usually it happens in two ways. You finally confront it and you realize like, wow, it wasn't even that bad. Or, you know, you finally confront it and you realize what was making it bad. It was by you not confronting it, by you not moving forward. <laughs> okay, so spirit is just saying move forward. Move forward in the steps that you're guided um, to take because you are moving away from this lack mentality or, you know, moving away from poverty of some sort. This could be poverty in a mindset. This could be poverty when it comes to your relationships, just settling, taking breadcrumbs. This could be um, poverty and just, you know, allowing people to take from you energetically. You know, this is a time to just move away from all of that. Chuck it up. Take it as, take it as a lesson and move forward right here. And it's so funny that taking shelter, you know, it came out with this this moon card. And this deck is all about honoring um, your intuition. I want to clarify the moon card. Spirit, can you clarify? What is this about? That's a lot. Ooh, the five of swords. Stopping that inner conflict, you know, with not listening to yourself, with not honoring your truth, not honoring what you already know and look where it's leading you the two of cups balance this is one of my most favorite cards in this deck right here it's such a beautiful card and I feel like when you listen to yourself when you honor your truth you honor your heart about what you know whatever it's telling you to do in this moment the best possible outcome is is going to come it's going to come to pass okay yeah, stopping this. Look, the other two cards that fell out, guys. This five of swords, this internal battle of not listening to yourself, not going within. This is how you're going to make these decisions with this two of pentacles and this seven of cups right here. This is how you're going to make the decisions that you need to make. Because sometimes when we move without getting clarity, without, you know, um, going within, Because I'm not, I'm not the, I'm not the goal of my intuition on this. Cause, cause what I'm seeing here, when you go within, when you make a sound decision, this is when this confusion, whatever confusion that is surrounding you, surrounding a certain situation, it's going to become clear. So this full moon in Capricorn is, is helping you go away from this five of swords, this inner tug of war. Do you listen to yourself? Do you follow your truth or do you do something else? You know, do you move away from the situation or do you continue it? Do you honor yourself or you don't honor yourself? Whatever that whatever that 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 in between is for you. This full moon in Capricorn is really going to help you get clear about it, okay? And I just want to see by you honoring yourself, by you listening to, you know, whatever whatever your internal guidance system is telling you, what does that look like for you? What's going to come about because of that? Let's see. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Seeing the best. It says... As a little experiment, next time I make something, I promise to only comment on the very best qualities. If what I've made seems like garbage, I'll find the beauty in that garbage. I'll sign my name on the garbage and proudly put it on display. When someone asks about the garbage, I'll take I'll talk openly about the process that got the garbage made. Then find out what day the city picks up the trash. No offense, garbage. <laughs> so it's like, this is just about own, you owning. You got to own everything. You understand me? You know, sometimes we desire to get to that light without going through the dark, you know, um, without taking out the trash, loving every aspect of yourself. And having understanding that 
whatever happened, whatever you count as a loss, whatever you wish that, you know, didn't happen, it happened. It's not about dwelling there anymore. You messed up. You made a mistake. You know, you let your guard down. Um, you know, maybe you took the, um, um, the wrong path. It's nothing to dwell on. It's to, it's to redirect you to your truth. So see the best in everything. So this is going to be made clear to you. You're going to understand and see the best of why it had to happen the way that it had to happen. There is purpose in everything. You know, and this is going to get you curious about life, opening up to these new beginnings, you know, taking these risks. And also, this is a time for discernment, to pay attention. I always say there's a difference between judgment and discernment, okay? If something is an orange, by you calling it an orange, you're not judging it. It's the truth. You're discerning that it is an orange. So trust your intuition, If your intuition is telling you something about a person, about a situation, you know, about a path that's that, you know, that's for you. Trust it. This card says, when I am elbow deep in my process, I'm not I'm not afraid to add something glittery to the nitty. Oh, no, gritty to the nitty and embrace the value of discernment. Stepping back, I can look at my work with the honest with the with the honesty of a true friend and be and be really real about what's working and what isn't. Okay, and this is what this full moon in Capricorn is all about, helping you figure out what is working and what's not so you can make a decision so you can say, you know what? I'm going a different way. So this could be a pattern, something that you're you're doing that you want. If you want something, but you're doing something that's an opposite of that thing that you want, that's not the way to go about it. You know, if you're desiring to, you know, um, let's say my favorite one is to lose weight. You know, then you can't be a, you can't be eating all the donuts, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like if you desire to um, come out of your comfort zone, you can't stay in your comfort zone. If you desire to, you know, speak your truth more and be ex- express yourself, then you can't be quiet. Like it's this this energy is going to help you get clear about something that maybe you're doing that is in the opposite of the direction that you desire to go. That's what's of best of you. So it's going to help you make that sound decision. Like, okay, this is what I'm going to do. And not only that, but get, get move, get moving in that direction, taking action steps. But first, sometimes you got to sit back and you just got to look at, look at some stuff, you know, and be honest with yourself. And one of the things that, you know, I was being honest with myself up into this, you know, Capricorn and this um, full moon, something had happened. And, you know, this, I know that it's just, it's just a part of it. But um, (laughs) I realized that people and myself, but more so I want to talk about people and the thing that I broke were this expectation of who I am and how I need to show up in life. And, you know, people can make assumptions about you, you know, about who you are, you know, people project on us, you know, or people will put us on pedestals and people will do certain things. And a lot of me in 2020, I was breaking those pedestals that people had just put me on. And, even the pedestals that I had put myself on, you know, cause I realized I was there. So I was like, okay, well let me be cute. Let me, let me keep it together and, and keep this persona, you know, <laughs> of, of, of what people expect of me. But I realized that that was inauthentic to me. And the crazy thing is I've, I, you know, I was like that before I really started this self-discovery. And then I got deep 
and to myself. And then I stopped doing that, you know, and just started to be my authentic self. And then something switched and something happened where I found myself back on these damn pedestals trying to keep a face and look cute and keep it a certain way. And then I realized, hey, that is not honoring me. That is not in alignment with my truth. Like that's that's not what I'm doing. That's not for me. And I had to take myself down from these pedestals. And a lot of people didn't like that. And, and I was like, listen, this is what it is. And and it wasn't until, you know, into this, these, these waking days into this Capricorn season that I finally, you know, um, took myself off of, you know, the pedestals, um, that last pedestal that, you know, I was sitting up on, <laughs> I took myself off of that last pedestal. And I gave myself permission to be me. I gave myself permission to feel. And I feel like sometimes, you know, um, we get into certain places and we and we get into certain ways. You know, we get into certain ways and certain things, you know, and then we just allow these pedestals to, to, to run us, to take over us. And I was like, uh-uh, uh-uh, <laughs> you know, like, I don't, I don't put myself on a pedestal. You know, that's that's one of the things that I'm reminded, like why I don't put myself on a pedestal, because that's no way to live. It's highly uncomfortable and it doesn't allow yourself to embrace every aspect of you. You know, I have this thing and I'm going to make in the video on the channel, but like fall in love with your fart. And I know that's not the most cutest thing to say, but it's the truth because I don't care how much cleansing, how much healing you do, how much you change your diet, that fart going to stink. It ain't, it ain't going to smell better. I don't care how much paprika you put in air freshen, it's going to stink. So there's always parts of ourselves that we have to fully accept because it's going to stink, period. You know, so that's just embracing all of you. So I don't know why we went there, but yeah, um, <laughs> you know, like that was one of the magical. Yeah, I know we went there. That was one of the magical, you know, revelations that I got in this full moon in Capricorn, this wake to this full moon. Like I finally took my ass off that last pedestal that was just hanging there like, uh uh. Tori, you know, we don't do this, honey, but I'm so happy I was reminded and I, I got to experience that, like why I went away from that, why I don't do that, because I know how much pressure and how much unhappiness that will cause in somebody. Like I need to be all of me, the stinky parts of me and the beautiful parts of me, because that is who I am. And no matter how angelic and how sweet I am, honey, when, when I fart, it smells, period. And you got to be okay with that, you know? So allow this full moon in Capricorn with Caden screaming in the background to <laughs> allow you to be okay with that, guys. So that's what I'm getting here. This full moon in Cap um, Capricorn is going to help you see the best in everything. It's going to get you curious about some path in life, the new beginnings that you're taking. And it's also going to help you get clear and discern what is best for you and what's not best for you. So with that being said, my beautiful love muffins, I love you so freaking much. And as always, it's such an honor to you for you to allow me into your heart and into your sacred space. And I will catch you on the channel. Take care. Follow, she blazing.